Hi everyone, this is the fifth video of Paint.net tutorial, so make sure you've watched the previous video before starting watching this one. In this video, I'm going to introduce the all the selection tools in the tool windows. Using selection tool can help us limit our workflow and do some work in a specific area. The first one is the rectangle select. It's basically a selection tool that can select the area in rectangle. All you need to do is just hold your left click and move your mouse. You can warp it to the size you want. What's more, if you hold shift on your computer and then you warp it, it does a perfect square. The reason why we use the selection tool is that when we select part of an image, you can do whatever you want in that selection tool. For example, if I select an area and I use the paint brush tool, I can only paint in the rectangle and I can't paint outside the rectangle. And if I hold the left click and move my mouse, it will only move the area I selected. By the way, if I hold shift then resize my selection, it will change my selection as the original aspect ratio. The second one is the Move Selected Pixel tool, which will move everything I have selected. And if I didn't select anything, it will just move the entire layer. Next, we have the Lasso Select tool. It's another selection tool. And except you can do a free shape rather than a rectangle by holding the left click on your mouse and warp it. But in my point of view, it's very hard to control because it's a free hand selection tool. So when you're using it, make sure you do it carefully. And the next one is the move selection tool. And the difference between the Move Selection tool and the Move Pixel Selection tool is that the Move Selection tool moves the actual selection. For example, if I use the Rectangle Selection to select an area and use the Move Selection tool, it will only move the actual selection. But if I use the Move Pixel Selection tool, it will move everything, including the image that is selected. And the last selection tool that I'm going to introduce today is the Eclipse selection tool. It's another selection tool, but the difference is that when you warp it, it does a circle or like a round shape. And it's same as the other that if I hold shift and then warp it, it will does a perfect circle. Last but not least, you can see a little hand icon here. It's a tool that can move the whole canvas. Yes, and this is the end of today's video. And if you have any questions, just comment down below. And hope you all enjoy today's video. Bye!